Pons, it's Calomira. I wanted to say a big hi and give a big heart to everybody. I can't wait for this year's Eurovision. It's going to be freaking awesome. And I know I'm going to get all the news from you guys. <laughs> Sending all my love to everybody. Mwah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm so excited to see you. Welcome to our channel. Welcome to WeWe Vlogs. Thank you for having me. You guys are the best. So it's an honor. I'm honored. So thank you. Hello, you know, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> Let's start with that. Oh. I am Georgia, Georgia from Cyprus. Oh. Carlos Orises, to Thank you. Thank you. How are you? How are you? Um, are you in Greece now, correct? Uh, now I'm in America. Oh, you're in America. Yeah, I go okay. back and forth quite often, like every six weeks. So right now this is my office. I'm in my house. <laughs> yeah, you have a beautiful background. <laughs> oh, thank you. Organized and tidy. Oh, so thank you're in America. Oh, yeah. I, I thought that you were in Greece because I saw some rehearsals, dancing videos and... Yes. I know. So I was just there and um, I do all my work in, in a short period of time and then I leave and the work is still continuing. So it's like I'm there and then I come back. It's a very tough schedule, but we try to keep it really organized. But that's that's huge. I mean, you, you're balancing basically two completely different lifestyles and I really admire that. I mean, yeah. So sweet. So Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So, what are you up to lately? Um, I saw you have just released a new song, The Rolling. Yes. So, let me tell you, I have a new song out called Rolling. I also have a video clip that the video clip is about the 24 hours of a pop star. Because on TikTok, I always watch videos like, follow me 24 hours, what I do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't go into so many details, but that was the overall concept. The song came out, you can find it everywhere you listen to music. And I wrote this song with an amazing group of songwriters who have worked with Jennifer Lopez, Chris Brown, writers of Britney Spears back in wow. the day. Yeah. So w this song was really a, an exciting project to do. And I'm glad that I was able to write with such an amazing uh, group of songwriters. Yeah, so. that's, that's huge. That's very impressive working with so talented people. And I mean, okay, yeah. you are so talented. So, I mean, that's a great opportunity for you. <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was such a great time. And uh, I really learned a lot from that collaboration. I really, I loved it. I love Mahombi. I love Lucas. I love everybody on that team. That's that's great. So I have listened to the song. It is very catchy, very refreshing. Yeah. And it could be easily um, be included in the global charts, let's say, not only in Greece, of course. I mean, I don't know what are you planning to do. Um are you are you have you scheduled any shows in Europe or US or in Greece? So uh, thank you about that first with the song, because a lot of people have told me they're like, it's like an international song. And I am Greek American. So I will always have the American in me. I was raised in New York. So I'll always have that. But of course, I'm Greek and I'm so proud of being Greek. Of course. And, uh, yeah. But I, I do feel like there's a lot coming. I do have a show in Boston. I do a lot of shows now in America I'm starting to do. And of course, in Greece, I just did a show in Thessaloniki. So I'm always doing something. And uh, for me right now, my main goal is getting the music out. There's so much I want to say through my music that that's just like, I need to get it out already. So I'm impatient because you got to wait, you got to give the one song time, but I already have the second single in the pipeline. It's Greek. It's fabulous. It's a different sound. And I think it'll surprise a lot of people. Okay. So are we, are we expecting a, a new song uh, soon? Yeah, um, not this month, but you'll hear about it in May. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Tell us a bit more about it. 
<laughs> you know, I don't want to say too much because it's still early and I'm really okay, I understand. But I get so excited. I talk about all the songs and then we have to wait. So, but we'll do another interview in May and I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Um, so, um, let's go to our expertise, <laughs> your vision, of course. Yes. Um, I mean, I wanted to ask you um, your thoughts about the competition. Have you been watching the contest after your year? Uh, have you been watching the contest? Are you familiar with it? Of course, we watch it every year and it's a family event, my kids as well. Here in the States, it's so surprising. Well, I guess it's not surprising to me because I didn't know Eurovision. It's such a global phenomenon. It's the highest rated music show ever. And it's astonishing. Americans don't know it. Will Ferrell did make a great movie on Eurovision. And now when I tell people, they're like, oh, is that the movie Will Ferrell did? I'm like, yes, yeah. people <laughs> wake up. It's the biggest music event of, like ever. Even because here we have the Super Bowl, and, we, and I'm like, no, 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 it's not. They don't understand. Like, it's not. It's not. No, the biggest yes, event. it's a different, definitely different vibe. And I mean, yeah. Uh, so, so your kids are familiar with your vision. Your children. You have three beautiful yeah. children. Let's say three, three, three. three sorry, three. Yeah, yes, that's three. Okay. That's and the little girl, of course. Yes. And yes. um, do do they know what is it, your vision? And do they recognize that their mother is a your vision star i mean uh the first part yes the second part no <laughs> the first part yes they recognize your vision because they they know i'm obsessed so i watch everything i i just i love it we, we watch it actually as a family so they learned it from me and they get excited they're like oh, what country is that and my one son has become crazy with all the countries he knows all the countries in europe yes. and i'm like it's very educating yes actually it's educating <laughs> yeah i uh, even me, I'm like, wait, that was a country? I didn't know that, you know? So it was great. Uh, and no, they don't, they're not like, oh, my mom was on that. They're like, that's you? What? And I'm like, yeah, I can't win with you guys. It's all right. That's very, um, I don't know, very strange because we, we can't imagine our, um, we can't imagine our parents being celebrities. I don't know. And that's yeah. very confusing for them. But I mean, yes. you were so great. I mean, some Thank you. Someday they would definitely recognize that. Um, so have you stayed connected with any artist from Eurovision 2008, uh, your year? That's a good question. Besides, of course, all the Greek artists and stuff like that. No, not that I have, but actually, no. I did actually write, I don't know who wrote first or anything like that, with um, the year that I went, uh, Serbia. Oh, uh, okay. Her place, she was so sweet because I think she had like a jewelry line or something. I don't remember. And I remember we wrote each other uh, on a potential collaboration. And oh, she, that's yeah, cool. that would have been good. I don't know what happened with that actually. That was a long time ago though. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I, should, I should write Dima Milan and be like, hey, Dima, your favorite person. I don't think you liked me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's very nice actually, and the Eurovision was in Serbia as well. So, I mean, yeah. that means something. I mean, that's not. <laughs> that's true. That was it. Was a great year. It was great. I loved. Serbia. Yeah, it was a great year. Uh, I mean, I remember the staging was very impressive. It was, it was a very good year actually. Many many good entries. It was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have any, do you have any song, a, part a particular song, not only from your year, um, mm -hmm. throughout the years in many country that you thought, I could actually sing that song and, that, and I could perform at Eurovision stage with that song? Have you thought that? You know, it's hard. Uh, there's <laughs> songs that I'm like, damn, that's a good one. But I'm never like, oh, I, I could have sung that song because it's really molded on that artist yeah even the way they're gonna sing it even the way they're gonna perform it i if i were to be given the same song i would take it to a whole other place because i'm a different artist so even if there's still similarities like there's an artist that dances or that's sweet or that likes pink i will still deliver it different so I, it's hard because it's even when i get like demos 
if I do a demo, if I hear someone, I'm like, oh, I might like that. And then I do it. I'm like, wait, you know what? I changed it. Now I need to change the music on it. It's just, no, I haven't. I, but I have admired a lot of great performances. I mean, there's, it's like, they have upped it. The, the yeah. choreographies, the costumes, it's like, wow. It's a really great production from all the countries. Yeah, you might say that's okay. We have seen all, all potential things at Eurovision stage and every year there is something new. Uh, I mean, the choreography or the special effects. Every yeah. year there is an upgrade and upgrade and upgrade and yeah. It's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Yes, really. So, have you have you listened about um? Have you listened Marina Svatizari, the Greek entry? Of course, of, of course. course. <laughs> Where should we start? So, Marina, I really like the song. I also really like. Well, I'll tell you first about the song. Yeah, I love the song. I know a lot of people are saying whatever, but I love it. I think it has a great. I like that it's her personality comes straight through the song. I like that it's very, it is very urban, but it's also very, I feel like I hear Oriental, uh, Balkan. It's like a little bit of everything on that side of the world. Yeah. And then it has the Greek. And I like that it starts with the Greek. And I like the simplicity. And I know for some people, they don't like that there's not like a melodic verse chorus verse chorus and i get it because me i like that's so all me i'm like wait wait i don't know where i'm standing but i like that because it's different and um a lot of people are doing that in music now so i thought that it was very smart of her and i think that she's a great artist i haven't seen her live so i can't speak for the live but from what i've heard she's a great artist and i um, i know on her team is the legendary uh Fogas, who will do the staging and choreography yes. and he's so he knows your vision so well he's won so many times he beat us that yeah. year I'm like, yeah yeah like, yeah <laughs> i remember that I get a fight. yeah <laughs> I remember oh. that. I know. <laughs> uh, so do I. I always tell him every time I see him. But I think that uh, I think that's going to grow great. I think it's a top five easy. Yeah. Yeah. I was a bit confused at the beginning, but I mean, it's so catchy and it, it stays in my brain uh, rent free <laughs> 24 yeah. 7. Um, yeah. 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 I definitely a song that you. You will hear uh, clubs and uh, parties, so uh, parties and uh, Eurovision parties, of course, like secret combination. Oh and, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you uh, every time secret combination uh, is on like a club or a party. I mean, I lose. I definitely lose control. Mm -hmm. I'm always trying to do that. That move. <laughs> Please show me how to do that. Okay. I have a good story for that choreography. So I'm going to tell you, I think I might have said it so much, but I'm not sure. That choreography, we couldn't figure out what to do with that part. And we were exhausted, me and the choreographer, Giuliano. And we were just, we were almost like butting heads a little bit. And I'm not one of the butt heads, but it was like, we we're tired, we we're exhausted, we we're together all day for like weeks and weeks. And I was like, and he's like, you know what? I think you take a break. And I'm gonna take a break for three days. And I'm like, fine, I'm gonna take a freaking break because I don't like taking breaks, but I'll take a break. <laughs> so I go to the village for three days. I remember my my grandma was there, Yaya Lenny. And I was like, yeah, please, I don't want anybody to come by the house. I'm gonna be upstairs locked. And she had this tiny little mirror, you know, you think yeah, the old yeah. home and stuff with y'all. Tiny mirror. And I was like, I'm gonna figure something out nice. And I was just playing around, and all of a sudden, one of the moves was this. And it just came out natural. Yeah. It's yeah. A full attitude. And I remember showing it to Giuliano and he was like, oh my God. And he put it in. And that was the whole thing. And then I also did it. Yeah. yeah. So you only needed mom. some village vibes. <laughs> some that's yeah. My next time. <laughs> oh, that's 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 very cool, actually. That's very cool. Uh that's a great story, actually. Um, have you heard about um, the um, Cypriot entry, Celia Capsis? Have you heard of her song? Of course, of course. Very nice. The song is so, again, it's the format of what I feel like I'm also very used to. It's very nice. Kodopoulos is amazing. Yeah. 
his Eurovision very well. And he has a, I, you know, a talent for just writing those songs that are catchy. And the energy that Celia puts out in the video clip is unbelievable. She's just fresh, uh, energetic. And I think, uh, I think it was a really great choice by Cyprus. Yeah, um, and she's very young. She, she's too young and she has all that energy. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable, yes, yes. I, I mean, she's 17. What? She's 17? I think, That's yes, uh, 17, uh, 16 okay. or 17. Yes, she's still at school, uh, wow. which is very impressive. It can be That's very interesting. <laughs> so, okay. Do you have any advice to give to Marina and Celia? to any other uh, yeah I have a lot of advice one is um take in the moment because I know there's so much going on don't forget to just stop in between interviews or stop in between rehearsals and be like wow let me take all this in because the stage and all that stuff is really unforgettable and the fans there they're the best fans in the world. I say it over and over. They know every single lyric to every single song to every single entry. It's unbelievable. And it's all love. It's all celebrating music. And second thing I would say is don't do anything that you don't feel right with. If it doesn't sit well with you, if it's not being true to you, don't do it. It's yeah. okay. You can politely be like, let me think about it. I'm not sure. You know, which I, it's a good tip that I learned 20 years later. So just do what you feel is right for you and keep the people around you that are going to always be honest. It's difficult when you're in high pressure situation because sometimes you can have people around you that are just, they don't really care. They're just have other interests. And yeah. that's what's dangerous because then you can put yourself in a vulnerable position and you're working so hard, you're under pressure. So it's important to have two, three people that are really your people that you trust, that you're like, hey, what do you think about this? Is this right? Or just looking for your best interest. Like one second, she needs to rest her vocals. She needs this to check the schedule, just stuff like that. And to be honest, to be, because other people might be, they won't want to hurt your feelings or they don't want to be the one to give you the bad news. You need to hear all the news, yeah. good and bad. Like, oh, this and that. And so you need that person that feels comfortable to be like, you know what, should we look at this again? I would just say that and just be yourself. People people can tell if you're faking. That's one thing I think that people don't realize is like, like to all the artists, like you, I'm just saying if you, they were listening now, I'd be like, you, people, they could tell. They're very savvy, especially with the internet and all that stuff. So be yourself. And even if yourself is an attitude and you're a little bit of a whatever, be it because yeah. that's part of your personality. And that's it's all. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. So be yourself. It's really important. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think every artist that uh, was in your vision um, says uh, to enjoy, give advice to enjoy the moments, enjoy um, every single moment of the experience because and be uh, their sales like you said uh because i think the artists are very pressured to i don't know meet uh, the people's expectations and uh they are always listening to comments and um i don't know uh tv shows that are commenting all the time you know that and um yeah 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 they're try trying to satisfy everyone and sometimes they are just forgetting to leave the moment. So your advice are uh, very good, actually, to leave the, the moment and be there yourself because... You're 100% right. Well said. It is important. And with the comments, you can get distracted on the goal. Yeah. Or you can be like, oh, should I have not done that? You're an artist. So that's another thing is that's your art. So it's very difficult because people will have opinions, but it's opinions you know yeah. so i agree with you yeah and you're exposed you are expecting to have some opinions but just exactly art is subjective i would say that so that's my art you know and that should what they should say this is our statement this is our work of art this whole thing this presentation so galamira i really want to ask you what is your secret combination <laughs> because let's 
just uh, I, I will remember I will remember you that you are only uh, 19 years old <laughs> when you um, when you were in the Greek television TV show reality fame story. Yeah. Too. Yeah. I don't know. Euro fans might know that. Um, and you are only 19 years old and you are so lovable, so mm -hmm. popular to the audience. You are also always receiving all those teddy bears and flowers and balloons. And that was huge. I mean, what is your secret combination, actually? Because you were, I think, the first female um, uh, who won um, in Greece, a uh, reality show. And I mean, you are among the very few females that managed to, I don't know, win the television show and have so strong and um, good audience and the fan, uh, your fans are so, I, I think they are so um, attached to you. And I don't know, this is phenomenal. So can oh. you tell us your secret combination? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That was so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I, Big story completely changed my life and it was such a wonderful time. I really go back to just being yourself. And I feel like because the audience was able to connect with the truth and I wasn't, I didn't know anything about show business. So it was even roar than raw. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So there was no, it was just like, hi, I'm Calomina. I don't know. Like, can I sing, can I sing for you? And, and I think there was a connection there. I think also because I was Greek American looking back, oh, a lot of Greeks will have, and Cyprians will have family members that kind of speak like me that, and I think they saw their family members in me as well, which is not something I recognized at the time. And I think that, okay. I, I we always have I always have a connection with the audience and with the viewer, and I and I feel like when I'm talking to them, they feel it and I feel them. Yeah. And even when I'm walking in the street, and they're like, "Oh my God, Kalaminaiki! Oh my God, how's your family? How's your kids?" It's like we're family. Yeah. And I really honor it, and I'm very grateful. I'm so grateful. I don't take anything for granted. I really am so grateful. Yeah, I mean, you are always so kind and. Um... So, uh, yeah, I mean, the first um, word that I can uh, imagine when I'm thinking of you is kindness and, um, I don't know, caring and always so willing to answer to questions. And um, I don't know, that's very impressive. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. And I'm it's definitely, I, I know, it's definitely not fake. It's, it comes in, from you. It's very natural. And that's that's the most important thing, I think, uh, for a person. <laughs> I, I really appreciate that. I have had the full, I, I've been able to meet some like celebrities that are like global and stuff like that. And honestly, I remember being like, oh my God, I'm gonna... and there were some that were like, oh, okay, night and day. And, but there were some that were really the way they are on TV. And I was just like, that, I'm like, that's who I want to be like. Like, those are real role models. They're just kind people in their real life. And they respect people. And I just think it's always important to everybody relax, okay? It's show business. We're not, you know, a doctor curing cancer. I mean, you know, that's like a superhero. So I, I'm also very, like, I'm living in the real world. Plus, I think it also is important that, I'm not, I I go back and forth to Greece and I think it's important because I like my home life as well. I think it's very important and healthy because yeah. I don't want constant stuff in my ears and li like, I like both worlds. Yeah. And I think, and I think that's what's helped me keep a healthy balance. Yes. Yes. Because I mean, okay, we, we are saying that it is a very difficult um, to balance those um, different lifestyles, as I said, as I said before, because motherhood and uh, career are always a challenge for a woman. I mean, for yeah, yeah. So you are a strong uh, role model, and I am going to ask you, what are you going to? Um, so what I, advice are you giving to young girls that are pursuing a career, but 
they actually want a family like your family, a healthy like I don't know, a role model family, um, spending quality time with your children, but also having uh your goals. That's huge. I mean, very important. You know, I would tell them that um, it it is really hard, and I and I like to always be honest. I don't want to paint a picture like everything's perfect, like because it's it's hard. Even before I was doing today this. Um, meeting that we have scheduled my one son got the stomach virus and then the kids are home and oh. then I'm like oh my lord and then my mom's calling me she's like why can't you ever talk on the phone and I'm like yeah why doesn't you break call my husband yeah yeah, yeah. why always me <laughs> and I'm like oh my yeah so I'm, I'm I'm being honest the thing is for the girls I think sometimes society puts too much pressure on us I'm gonna say something when I wanted to have a family, everybody was like, why do you want to have a family now? You're on top of your career. You're good. And I'm like, in my, I'm like, okay. But in my head, I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'll listen to you. Because I found the right person and I want to have kids. And, and that needs time. So then I took a break. I couldn't full-time do my singing because my kids were at a young age. Yeah. And I feel like what I want to say to the girls is they put so much pressure. They're like, be the CEO of your own company. Um, have four kids. Uh, eat only organic. Do juicing every morning. Work out and have the body of a super mom. Everybody freaking relax. I feel like I threw that stuff out the window. You know what? My workouts, I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing an hour and a half anymore. I only can do 20 minutes. And you know what? I do have a little cellulite. It's not the end of the world. And you know what? Today, I'm going to order out. I'm not making them a home cooked meal. It's going to be okay. We're going to all survive. I'm going to give them the iPad 20 minutes. It's okay. They're yeah. going to freaking survive with the judging, judging. So mm -hmm. I... I rewrote the script of what I think a successful mom is. So I don't go off the script of society. I go off my own script. I know I'm a loving mother. And I tell my kids all the time, I'm not a perfect mom, but I am a loving mom. I'll do anything for you. And I just try to do that. And I do what works for me. So my advice to the girls is do what works for you. Don't let society tell you what is successful or not. You know what? You're getting up in the morning make your bed and start your day, do your best. And that's success to me. Yes, definitely. Don't be harsh to yourself. I mean, you, no. you can't be perfect at everything. I mean, okay. And it's that's not okay. Real. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you want, uh, do you also want to discuss uh, about any other plans that you have? Um, Let me think. Or in your music career? For now, okay, we are you are waiting for the Greek song as well to be released. Uh maybe you you can sing us a bit from Rolling, which is uh, already. Oh yes, out. sure. I, I can sing a little bit. Can you do that for me? <laughs> I do a little warm up, so I'll do it. Ha, I'm gonna sing it lower. I keep on rolling, rolling. What can I do? Can I control it? Only when I'm with you, you got me rolling, rolling. So into you, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Oh, that's that's amazing. It's definitely Calamira vibes. And uh, I know, I'm so happy. I tell you, yeah, it's, it's Calamira vibes. It's uh, very, very fresh. Very thing I love it. For. <laughs> it puts me in such a good mood. It's really one of those songs that's just like, oh, I feel good. Yeah. I do do songs in Greek and English and because I'm Greek American. And what I find to be the best recipe that I feel is when I have a song. It depends how I write it. Sometimes I might get an inspiration. I'll go on the piano and it might be in Greek. And if it's in Greek, great. And then I'll take that Greek song and then I'll say, well, let me see if I can make it in English. But I don't like translating lyrics. I, I'm really against translating. I just like to say, okay, what's the song about? What's the overall concept? Let's rewrite it in English. Because the syllables, I might change a little bit. Yes. Well, no, actually, because that's the note. But I just, I might change the meanings of both songs a little bit. Like uh, the new song after Rolling that I have coming out, it is coming out first in Greek. I do have it in English as well. But it just worked out that both the songs worked out that way. But then I have another ballad, for example, that I wrote in English. It is 
a tearjerker. Like you need your tissues. It's so sad. It's like, oh. it's a really good song. It's a ballad, which I haven't done a ballad in a long time, but I was trying to do the lyrics for Greek and I'm like, let's try. But sometimes the syllables aren't the same. Yeah. It's tricky. It's possible. I feel like it works by not translating, just by saying, what's the concept of the song? What's the overall feel? Let me put it in Greek lyrics. Yeah. So it's exciting though. I like that challenge as well, but I love doing both languages. I really do. I, I really love it. Because I mean, uh, you have audience in uh, America, you have audience in Greece, so you need to satisfy everyone. <laughs> yeah, all right. Demand. <laughs> okay, so just a, a mini tiny question because sure. you really need to know um uh are you coming back eurovision hmm? we really want you Galo, miramo. Question. we really want you i mean people who might um who actually need to listen to that need to listen to that We want Calamiran back <laughs> for Cyprus, maybe for Greece, let's say, or any country. We want you back at the Eurovision stage. Me, oh. We miss you so much. <laughs> you, we are a legend. You are a legend. <laughs> Thank you. I miss the Eurovision stage. I don't know if it's in the cards. It's not really fully up to me. If, if it was, yes, because I have a song ready that's been ready for two years. It's such a good song. I put such an amazing team of writers together to write that song. I have not released it yet. I was thinking of releasing it this year because I can't hold on to it anymore. Yes. It's such a good song. You want to listen to it. I know. <laughs> I get I'm mad. Like, I get mad because <laughs> we, we actually want to see this song at Eurovision stage, maybe. <laughs> I know, but then I'm like, oh, I'll write another one. But it was such a well-intended song for Eurovision. But, you know, I do believe in destiny. And if it's in the cards for me to go again, God will make it happen. But if it's not, then it's not in the cards for a reason. Yeah. I do believe that. I do work with that. It would be awesome, though, to experience all those fans again. Because, they, again, they're the best fans in the world. Yes, I, I know. Them. Yeah. So, uh, so that I mean, they are all connected with music. I mean, and here in Willy Blogs, we are from many from Mora or oh, sorry, from <laughs> the globe. So, um, I mean, that's huge and that's a great experience. So, I really wish you to uh, live it again, <laughs> all over again. Me too. We'll see what happens. Yes. Thank you very much, Carla Miramo. Hope to see you again. Okay, Georgia, thank you so much. This was such a pleasure. Thank you, Carla Miramo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>